Good morning from Bali Airport is currently 7.30 at morning and we are leaving Bali as you watched yesterday's video. This is what we have, all of this stuff. This is what we have going to Singapore. Okay, we start our new chapter of life. Starting from here, I leave Bali and hope all is good. All will be good and all must to be good. Uh, well, we are going to Singapore. Today is going to be travel vlog. And that's how we look like when we are leaving Bali. One medium suitcase, one travel suitcase, one small backpack, one lady bag, and one small suitcase, like a pilot one. All right, Saya, let's go. We already passed the immigration. This is the departure gate, Merry Christmas, traveling light. Honey, you look happy now, huh? Super excited for the new things in my life. So, well, let's... actually, it's feeling but the feeling of the excitement is more than what said or something like that all right let's find the coffee somewhere this is the brand new place open in airport as you can see it's pretty nice and actually in the restaurant is more people saying sleepy <laughs> Sayang. and that's our menu here in case uh, not that well it's not very cheap but it's not so i used to have a more expensive breakfast in the airport in bali all right guys i'm answering all of your comments and instagram messages so many actually today but mostly positive i'm so surprised positively as you really accept our decision uh, so i promise i will answer all of your messages all of your comments not so many negative which is big surprise for us but very good surprise so many of you guys already uh, offer us to meet up somewhere in singapore or even in malaysia in bangkok so definitely if you have a time and we have a we wanna find the time we would love to meet guys wherever you are boarding time boarding time again <laughs> are you happy man? happy excited <laughs> just laugh <laughs> i think good yeah big plane so a lot of a lot of people in the queue flying scoot today morning how are you all right so this is a uh, boeing 7879 dreamliner so it's big one so happy to flying the scoot nowadays especially to singapore it's totally different experience than flying the smaller plane so currently if you have opportunity i highly recommend it flying the scoot especially the big planes because i'm gonna show you is so much space on the leg room even it's just the economy of this right we cannot afford the business by Singapore, maybe one day. This is not sponsored flight, no? No sponsored, no sponsored. Well, highly recommended in general. Uh, well, you can fly the Air Asia as well. We're gonna fly later Air Asia, but uh, well, this is nice. So the tickets obviously cost us, uh, well, a little bit over $100 per one person per way, which is not so bad, but you're not gonna get anything including not even water, anything, because it's low cost airline anyways. Yeah. So this is the menu, the meals cost you $12 Singaporean, which is 120K rupiah. And drinks and bundles, they even sell in the wines here, so it's not so bad actually. And the drinks were $4, uh, yeah, four dollars for red drinks and stuff like this one and also selection of the beers and even the uh, johnny walker for ten dollars actually not so bad actually the current flights for the christmas week cost us around 100 us dollars but we book it earlier but i have to reschedule flights due to our change of plans so still very affordable considering that as the singapore airlines is like a twice or triple of this price sayang what are you doing um, we'll be the lady behind the Instagram. <laughs> All right, follow us on Instagram, guys. The Monkeys YouTube. I forgot to mention, probably I never mentioned that before, but once was my dream to be in the plane flights reviewer, like some other people, but well, oh, like Sam Chui, like Sam Chui, for example. So I really like aviation, but not well, I'm overall travel YouTuber. Maybe one day or extra bonus, like today. <laughs> Very interesting water for three dollars, yeah. Three. So we pay actually six Singaporean dollars. So it's very interesting water. No more plastic, but this one with a carton. Very Ooh. nice. Small Ooh. things, but makes you happy. <laughs> we arrived to Singapore. <laughs> so good to be here. We have to. Uh, go to terminal 3 and create the immigration and pick up our bags fast and the first thing what i just realized just when we landed as the terminal one is pretty busy today especially to compare to the last time well, it's very busy look like 
Remember guys, whenever you're coming to Singapore, you have to submit SG arrival card. It's just two minute job, but uh, you have to do it. Sayang, clear immigration area. Pick up already our box. Sayang, how come you make it quicker than me? Tell me. Thanks Singapore, you have a special gate for Asian nationals. So I just next to the Singaporean citizen. <laughs> so cool. So <laughs> Super happy for that. Damien bought me the Singapore Tourist Pass Plus. Basically, that only thirty-eight dollars, and it how long is expired? Sunny? It's unlimited rides for three days, uh -huh. and then it's a five years valid car. So whenever we come back ever in the future, you already have it. Just needs to top up a little bit, and that's it. Super. Cool. There is of course the different card of the pass, like for three days, and then paying thirty dollars, and after three days you get a ten dollars refund but uh, as we're gonna travel to Singapore more frequently definitely we need something like that but if you're coming just for one two days uh, the other option is better for you so there are two options actually and also you can use the debit cards or credit card as well honey how do we get to the hotel so you have uh, many options but because we have so much so much bags with me today we're gonna take a grab so I'm gonna show you how to do it um, so basically you have to have a grab on the phone and uh, we're going to hotel 81 lavender on today's occasion so take pick up let's say door two choose to pick up from and the ride gonna cost us today 1780 18 dollars just book grab and should be fine quickly very quickly uh, oh. Mercedes-Benz V220 today. Lucky. Very easy. Very Why didn't we take MRT, honey? We're not taking MRT because we have so many bugs and it's rainy outside. I don't want to get wet because our hotel is actually 300 meters from the metro station Lavender and we will have to either get wet or either we're gonna have a ride again, but doesn't really make sense. But we're gonna drive later on. Sayang said that she wanna push the trolley. It's not as I just use her. She just really wanted to do this. Do you have license for driving this? Uh, do I need to? <laughs> <laughs> it's Singapore, I think so. <laughs> and this is the Dorcho B1. So we are very lucky today with our ride. Nice. Are you excited, Sam? Super big car. <laughs> nice. Alright, and we just arrived to our budget hotel for next four nights. It's called Hotel 81 Lavender, next to Villa Vendor, actually 300 meters, so very convenient location. And it's not really Geylang, actually bordering with Geylang, but here you can find the cheapest hotel in full entire Singapore, or one of the cheapest. And Hotel 81, I already know the brand, and Winnie also know the brand. It's very small, uh, aircon wasn't work at the beginning, but they fixed it already, and now they are waiting for the technician to come to fix the TV because it doesn't work. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, it's clean and safe. Uh, all the hotels in Singapore are clean and safe. That's the most important thing. And if you ask how much it costs, right now 100 Singaporean dollars per night, and which full December prices like this one. And on 25th, you cannot book any hotel in Singapore already because all of them, they are sold out. Okay, the Marina Bay Sands and the, all the top ones, they are still, still available, but the budget ones, forget about that, all sold out. Well, for us, it's no problem to stay wherever it is in Singapore because we Even know, in Gaila? Because we know that Singapore is expensive country in Southeast Asia, the most expensive one. And just like this room, $100 per night, quite a small room, but the most important thing is clean, uh, aircon, and for me is, you know, the Wi-Fi works. <laughs> and one of the reasons why we decided to stay in Lavender in Singapore in Hotel 81, because it's only five minutes walk to the metro station MRT Lavender. I used to stay in this hotel Villa Vendor actually, which is under the next to the metro station. So I know the area very well. It's only one station to Boogies, two station to the city hall, Green Line. It's just outside the city center, but still very close to the city center. We know the group of the hotels 81 very well, so it's also very good. Um, we know what to expect around and overall also next to the metro station and around over here there is so many hawker centers, little mall, Burger King, McDonald's and metro obviously everything is next to each other so it's very good area to be uh, in Singapore. Also on the other side of the river there is the Geylang, however um, while I used to stay in Geylang with Winnie you can find hotels slightly cheaper like $5 cheaper 
but we recommend lavender. And you can find that the lavender is better hotel when we stay, but of course tri triple more expensive than 81. But you can choose whatever you like. All right, guys, so we are after checking already in Singapore. We were in the Tiong Baro uh, on the one residential area in HDBD, pick up something because I bought something online on the local website, what is very hard to get actually, so I'm happy with that. And there was very lovely local guy to tell us if you're already in this residential area, which is like, uh, you know, it's called Tiong Baru. It's good to having a look around. And also later we Google about that. This area is recommended by the Visit Singapore as it's like a little bit different than the central, but still very close to the center. So we're gonna have a little look. It's nice weather now. Previously it was rainy, but now it's sunny two hours before sunset, so let's go. Okay, now let's explore this area. I see that there are so many Singaporeans uh, here. I don't know, maybe what, I don't know. There are, I see that childcare, many things here in this building. And even there is a one restaurant there. Let's see. Let's go and check this out, there's so many people. We actually came by using this bus. We're gonna explain maybe once about the transportation in Singapore. Wow, and even this one is the hawker center here. You see happy hawkers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then there are so many local shops. I think that they are selling much cheaper than in the city center, right, honey? Yeah, I this think so. This is very good that we explore. The first day just arrived from Bali and then we just explore to the beautiful neighborhood. Tiong Bahru neighborhood. Tiong Bahru is the oldest housing estate in Singapore and when you visit this quaint community, you will immediately notice an intriguing mix of old and new. While many older residents have lived in the shop houses and flats here for decades, the younger generation flocks here for the food, shop and culture. The neighborhood is one of the hippest places in Singapore today, but it's also a neighborhood steep in fascinating history. The name Tiong Bahru actually means new cemetery. Tiong means an in the Chinese Hokkien dialect and Bahru means new in Malay because it used to be a burial ground. The lowlands were used to cultivate crops in 19th century while Pearl's Hill House of fortification for military personnel. This is actually currently the fruit section here uh, with the more, more local prices. Uh, definitely because this is actually outside the center but still nearby center so it's not like a very far remote area we are buying some nice tea over here we choose this one red green peach green tea white pearl uh, for three dollars large cup like this one over here uh, what is that what is that <laughs> oh loyalty oh, card you. okay good <laughs> thank you take care I'm waiting for our juice see so cool. <laughs> so, yeah. so nice. I just like, I don't know, just surprise or... Long in time Singapore, you... I can still have a something cheap. Like this one, $3. $3, 10 cents. 10 yeah. cents. It's just like 31k for the big tea. Actually, pretty alright. Is the this big cup. Here next to 7-Eleven is little food court with the dim sum. And it's very small because this is like a residential area of HDBD around. Uh, but you can find each area in Singapore have their own food court, own malls and all of this stuff. Uh, you can buy the Hainanese chicken rice and everything, so nice. The, the, this one? The noodles. Yeah, but zoop, zoop, zoop. Zoop one. Three noodles to choose? Yeah. Oh, noodles to choose. Oh, right. Um, this one. Yellow noodles? Yeah, yellow noodles. Uh, yeah. 550? 550, yeah. 550 for the soup. Noodle soup, this one. Very nice. Oop. What uh, she's choosing? I want to have a char siu wonton noodle. Just eat here. What is that? What are you taking, say? Uh, the char siu wonton noodle. Oh, nice. Looking nice. Let's see, that's the style. And as you can see, so many uncles and aunties everywhere around. We're gonna enjoy it with them somewhere over here. Here we go. Many people saying don't come to Singapore because Singapore is the most expensive no. country. Look, 
I found the food just about this one, three eighty dollars. It's about thirty eight thousand rupiah, yeah, honey. Yeah. yeah. I think it's still much cheaper than the food in Bali, like you know, breakfast that we bought last time in Ubud. Yeah, three thirty dollars for the breakfast last time, and that's my the fish, you know, the soup with the meat uh, for five fifty, which is also very alright. And look at surround. So cool. Also bought my coke over there for 180. Honey, how is your food? Very nice. I was missing when I did the fish noodle soup. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Makan ganta? Mm, maybe I should actually make a film, yeah? No, but very nice. I also gonna try yours. It looks very decent. Very good. You're not gonna get hungry in Singapore. Plenty of options to choose from. And really not that expensive, guys. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, maybe if you're gonna go to the fancy restaurants, it will be expensive. But if you look like a local, eat like a local, you will pay local prices. The food, guys, was really nice in the local area. Serans were full of uncles and aunties. And now I'm looking what's going on here, just over here. Come closer, show to the people. They have a, like a full crate of the durians and the guy just cutting, opening the durians putting in the package and gonna sell it. Sayang, so, don't tell me if you wanna try the durian right now. Can I have the durian? <laughs> you oh, know you, you're gonna so get a fine in the MRT station if you're gonna try it. I mean, you cannot carry actually. Didn't Nobody said this, you cannot. Look how, how professionally Ooh. he opening. Boom, boom, wow. Whoa. Look at that. Looks nice, so, so cool. Oh, look at the uncle, have a very nice bike. Okay guys, so this is our travel from Bali to Singapore and our first day, half day actually in Singapore. Uh, starting from tomorrow, we're gonna do the proper videos from Singapore, like uh, longer and fully dedicated to Singapore for next upcoming days during the Christmas time. And yeah, I think that's all our video today. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. See ya, take care.